All right, I've got a 5.7 liter Hemi engine here. Um, we're going to talk about um, removing a valve um, stem seal um, or the valve guide seal. Uh, the purpose of the valve guide seal is that's going to prevent oil from entering into the combustion chamber. We don't want oil to be in there um, burning, so we have a valve guide seal. Well, uh, sometimes you need to replace the valve guide seal with the cylinder head still attached uh, to the engine without removing the cylinder head. So I'm going to show you some of the tools, the generic tools that can be utilized um, to make that change without, all you have to do is take off. Um, so, so far what we've done is we've taken off the cylinder head cover and um, we removed the rocker arm assembly um, and, and now we're going to remove the valve. So I've got a, 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 a tool installed here in the spark plug port. And the reason that I'm installing this, and this can just be taken from a compression tester or a cylinder leakage gauge, the reason that I've installed that is I need to supply some air to the cylinder. All right, so I, I'm pushing air down into the cylinder, and it, that's gonna help keep my valve up against the, the top of the combustion chamber or the bottom portion of the cylinder head, um, allowing me to be able to remove the valve spring now. So um, this tool just clamps down on the valve spring down here. This is kind of a generic tool that can be used on any other style. There actually exists a special tool that's specifically for this engine, and many engines have them that, that uh, are used to remove the spring with the cylinder head installed. But I wanted to show you this generic one. So I'm just gonna crank down on this, and you'll notice that the spring will begin to compress, exposing the keepers on the valve. As soon as I've got the keepers available, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those out of there with a magnet. All right, so I've removed my keepers from my engine and now um, the top of my valve, and now I can go ahead and uh, pull my valve assembly up. All right, so this is the uh, what we're talking about. This is the valve guide seal or valve stem seal. Notice that my valve is not going down into my cylinder head because of the air that's in there. Now there's several different uh, valve uh, stem or valve guide seal tools that remove it. Here's a particular design and I'm simply just gonna grasp on there a little bit of rotation and then I can remove um, the valve guide seal or valve stem seal. Now there's several different designs of these. Some of them won't require any tools to remove. All of them, however, do require move, uh, removal of the spring itself. Um, so once I pulled this out and replaced it, then hopefully I won't have any more oil leaking down in the combustion chamber and burning. Then I'll simply just reinstall the new one, put the spring back on, and uh, place the rest of the components back on the engine.